Hello and welcome back to another round of Verdun. We are on Argon. And this map is real I close combat. So it's real crazy this. Because the distance are so short. What was that? Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is this map is a huge cluster uh, cluster coides. We have a bit more players than the Entente powers, but I want to play for the Kaiser today, so no switching over for me. Also, it's my silent resistance against the, the balancing means of this game. Was a bunch of guys just standing there, and that was weird. Oh, cool. There's a, 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 a French tank here. It's a, it's a Renault. First French tanks that only have machine guns. This one has a, 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 a small cannon. I think it was 35 millimeters caliber. And those uh, tanks, they were very dangerous. But not exactly for the enemy, but for the guys who were in them. Because uh, if you were in such a tank and and they were pretty, they were small and cramped, and they were also um, they were also quite slim. So if you were driving around in a terrain like this with a lot of uh, with a lot of uh, holes, then uh, it could very well be that. Um, you toppled over the tank and because the first iterations of the tank only had a hatch on the top you could be uh, you could get trapped in the tank and uh, then there was no way of getting out because it was such a heavy vehicle so you couldn't uh, just uh, lift it over but it was very very dangerous for the tankists Of course, originally the tank was just designed to get across the no man's land alive. So the first tanks were just huge metal behemoths that were going at a snail pace. The first first uh, attack with tanks on in the First World War was a huge failure because the tanks just broke down and bog got bogged down in the mud, and uh, it was very stupid and there was no there was there were zero tanks even getting to the battlefield so there was no tank fighting because the tanks all got uh, well, like I said all got bogged down in the mud or got got mechanical trouble they're in on the left so I should just stay here and wait until my mortar is ready and then I'm gonna call the mortar on the train and I simply hope that they don't call a mortar on me in the meantime we only have one more kill for foothold over time which is going to be done yeah right now Danger close, yes, but I'm sure that our artillery dudes are capable enough to put the mortars in the trench and not in my crater. So, boom. 
there they are. What? They were all misses. So what happened? Shit. Okay. Fleury. Yeah. trench that I'm spawning at is called uh, Fleury uh, first line and uh, there are several places in uh, France called Fleury and some of them uh, have gained some fame in the first world war like uh, the destroyed villages uh, if you go to uh, to France, you can uh, visit the destroyed villages. It sounds a bit weird because how can you visit a destroyed village? But when you are driving on the on the roads there, you will see signs saying that there has been a village there. And when you walk there, it's quite eerie because you see that uh, people have been living there, but there's n no trace of them whatsoever. Um, Okay, time to call in mortar there. Um, you see signs that uh, the church used to be here. The, the cafe used to be here. Uh, the school used to be here. And it's very depressing actually because in the, in the, in the trench warfare the artillery had been pounding so often and so heavy on the on the villages like Fleury that they um, they just got pummeled into into dust. Wow, that guy spawned in from space. Okay, time for gas mask. Ah. Uh, the map is called Argonne, and Argonne is now uh, also a natural resort. No, not a resort. Uh, natural refuge. And uh, it's, uh, it has uh, wide forests and some lakes. And it's actually pretty nice over there. Okay, I'm in the trench. I made it. I'm gonna put off my gas mask now. I got killed by Isidore the Forest. Is that uh, supposed to be a Canadian? Sounds like it. A bunch more kills, and we have kill over time. And those Germans screaming in the trench there. Ah! Only five, three, one. Yeah, we are gaining momentum. And we get foothold over time because we also have people in the trench here, pretty visible. What? How is that possible? I thought I was in the smoke. Well, I 
Nice to see uh, the, the wax flamers here. Okay, I'm going to sit down here and check out where I am. Oh, that's not this one, that's this one. Okay. Not sure if there's a connecting trench there, but maybe I'm lucky. No, it doesn't look like I made a very good mortar call there. Oh, well, I did. I spoke too soon. We lost the momentum, well, let's hold out against the Entente then. The Ruby, yeah, my favorite pistol. This is actually quite a uh, fine example of why this map usually is a slaughter fest because uh, everybody is sticking out against the sky and it, the best way to get lots of kills here is to go MG class because you can just mow them down when they appear on the horizon. Ow! More grenades. Oh, the same guy is now on our side. each other they have the foothold. Oh, that was fast. So, we can attack now. French tank. Ah! <laughs> the machine gunner was right in time on its place. In its place. So... Yeah, yeah, we're going to attack her, even though it's not uh, a real German word. if I can bomb the trench.
apparently I have to teach uh, people about uh, oh, Enemy at the Gates because uh, it says it's one of the best World War II movies. And if you want to see a good movie about Stalingrad, then just pick the German movie. The German movie from 1993, because uh, that's actually quite realistic. The al it also has mistakes, but at least it's portraying the battle in a more realistic manner. In Enemy at the Gates, the Russians are just running to the M MGs like uh, like it's nothing, and it's uh, super unrealistic. Let's see if I can get the mortar kills. Boom, boom. Okay, I get... Oh, battle is a draw. Okay, well, they didn't get our trench, we didn't get theirs. Well, that's it for this round. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.